To be vegan means to not exploit animals. The word was coined by Donald Watson in 1944 and is defined by the Vegan Society as a philosophy and way of living which seeks to exclude, as far as is possible and practicable, all forms of exploitation of and cruelty to animals for food, clothing, or any other purpose, and by extension promotes the development and use of animal-free alternatives for the benefit of humans, animals, and the environment. In dietary terms, it denotes the practice of dispensing with all products deriving wholly or partly from animals. Vegans don't consume animal products or byproducts. That means not eating them, wearing them, and not supporting businesses who exploit animals. People usually become vegan for ethical reasons, and there are multiple benefits to being vegan, such as having a lowered risk of certain cancers and diseases, and having the largest possible positive impact on the environment. Consuming nothing from an animal. That means no meat or fish, no dairy products, no poultry or eggs, no honey, and no animal derivatives like shellac, carmine, a red food dye from beetles, or gelatin which is made from boiled animal skin, bone, and cartilage. A vegan diet is composed of the same typical food groups you'd see on a regular food triangle, but with vegan alternatives to dairy products, such as plant milks, yogurts, and plant-based margarines and butters, and alternative vegan protein sources, such as tofu, nuts, seeds, beans, legumes, and vegan meats. One result of a vegan diet is the fact that you are helping to reduce the abhorrent amount of pain, suffering, and cruelty experienced by trillions of animals each year. Going vegan helps to reduce the number of animals suffering. Another result of a vegan diet is the positive effect it has on the individual's health. There is lots of scientific evidence backing up the fact that a vegan diet is suitable for everyone of all ages and can significantly lower health risks. The final major benefit of a vegan diet is the effect it has on the environment. The industries that profit off the suffering and slaughter of animals are the main air polluters of this earth. Livestock industries are responsible for more greenhouse gases than all transport combined. These environmentally careless industries are also leading causes of deforestation and water and land degradation. A vegan diet is much better than one that involves animal products. Better for the animals, better for the individual, and better for the environment. With the current amount of vegan foods available in supermarkets and the massive amount of information available on the internet, a vegan diet has never been easier. While to outsiders veganism may look confusing and difficult, veganism is easy when you seek out information. There is an incredible amount of information on how to determine what foods and other products are vegan, as well as the countless amounts of vegan recipes accessible at the touch of a fingertip. Alongside the fact that information on veganism is easily acquirable, vegan foods, specifically substitutes for meats, milks, cheeses, eggs, and all other conceivable non-vegan foods, are more common and better tasting than ever before. There are at the very least a few meat-free sausages and plant milks in every supermarket. The vegan shopper typically fares better than this, finding vegan candy and an assortment of other cruelty-free products in their local supermarket, and fares even better than that in most health food stores. Eating out has also gradually increased in quality over the years, now being, once again, better than ever. Many more switched-on restaurants have a smorgasbord of vegan dishes, and most less switched-on restaurants have at least a few vegan options. More and more completely vegan restaurants are popping up all around the world. Veganism is easier and more accessible than ever before. Information is easy to find and vegan products are improving in quality, popularity, and commonness continuously. My entire family is vegan. I've been vegan for almost 15 years, my whole life. Both of my younger brothers, Eden and Casper, have also been vegan their entire lives. My mum, Zoe, has been vegan for 24 and a half years, and my stepdad, Mike, has been vegan for more than four years now. My dad, Baird, just became vegan earlier this year. Having been vegan my entire life, and being raised in a vegan household, I don't know what it's like to go vegan in a non-vegan household. My mum Zoe does though. For me it was easy because it was the only way I could imagine living. It was the only thing that made sense to me at the time, and still. <laughs> um, and uh, the hard thing was that it was quite isolating because I didn't know any other vegans. My family weren't vegan. They were somewhat supportive, and I'm sure in their minds were very supportive, but to me that they didn't show much interest and certainly didn't take on board 
the, any of the ethical side of veganism was very difficult for me to live around. Um, but at the same time, it made me very determined and very strong and taught me that I was capable of standing up for myself and veganism from a very young age. Although she felt isolated in her home, Zoe wasn't alone. A prime example of the growing vegan community is World Vegan Day. An annual celebration of veganism throughout the world, Melbourne's celebration is a good example of the rapidly growing vegan community everywhere. World Vegan Day is the pinnacle of vegan festivals, with massive crowds, eye-opening speeches, and delicious food. It's also a great place to dispel the myth that veganism makes you weak, and buy other vegan products. The crowds were the largest they've ever been, with approximately 15,000 attendees. Since its creation 10 years ago when it was just a small picnic in the park, it has expanded, taking up massive warehouses and large open spaces. The swelling in size suggests that the vegan community is growing, increasing in size alongside the festival. The crowds at World Vegan Day were incredibly large this year. There were multiple speeches given throughout the day by prominent and notable vegans such as Philip Wallen. Many listened to and were moved by the speeches this year. The foods, both pre-made to buy on the day or at stalls made upon order, show how far vegan foods have come from decades earlier. Foods of all kinds were available, and the general consensus was that everything was delicious. There have been many arguments against veganism made on the premise that vegans are weak and malnourished. Neither of these statements are true. A vegan diet can and does provide the required energy and nutrients for one to be fit and healthy. Billy Simmons, a professional bodybuilder, powerlifter, and martial artist, is vegan, and his World Vegan Day workout speaks for itself. I also asked Luke Tan, another amazing vegan bodybuilder and athlete, why he became vegan. Where, where do, how do I start? Where do I start? Well, I became vegan for... I was inspired by my wife. Luke's wife Emily was a Canadian champion and gold medalist ice skater, an ultra-marathoner medalist, and is now training for 100km races on a raw vegan diet. And I realized that um, I was an ethical vegan, so I turned vegan for the animals. Yeah. I watched Earthlings and the next day I just realized that I did not want to be a part of that anymore. Um, and I just turned vegan overnight and ever since then, it's four years on, I look at where I am, where we are, it's just spreading a message and I'm, you know, fitter and stronger than I've ever been before. And for me, I, I just believe that the world needs to turn vegan and the world needs to change. And at the end of the day, cliche as it may sound, we are the change and the fact that, you know, World Vegan Day was, um, you know, my first World Vegan Day was at Princess Park uh, four years ago and, and it moved to Flemington and it just grew and grew and grew. It just goes to show that, you know, we are, we are, the, we are going to be the majority and we need to be the majority and, and um, yeah, I guess that's me in a nutshell. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. There were a great many vegan products available at World Vegan Day and they weren't only foods. High quality faux leather goods as well as specifically vegan clothing, vegan cookbooks, and a great many other vegan goods were all available on the day. The swelling popularity of vegan products is yet another indicator of the growing population of vegans. World Vegan Day this year was the most popular it has ever been and is such a wonderful and lively celebration to attend. It shows how far veganism has come since 1944, when the word was first coined. Veganism is beneficial to everyone. 
everything living, even the Earth itself. With the current prominence of information on veganism and the high availability of vegan products, now is a better time than ever to make an ethical choice and go vegan.